Good morning, everyone. This is Miss Steinbaugh, and I want to talk about representing sound in your artwork and how you might do that. I I picked, well, I did a study, probably, it's, it's August 2019, that's what I'm seeing here. One of my favorite sounds in the summer is the cicada. I know it's not everybody's favorite, but I really like cicadas. We used to call them hot bugs. And one of the reasons why I like cicadas so much is because my dog that I used to have, Obi, loved cicadas. He loved to eat them. And a friend of mine called them pop rocks for dogs. So anyway, I uh, used to go around and collect cicadas I would find on the ground and give them to him. In the end, uh, I've had students who would bring me cicadas at school, so I would I just like to have them to draw. So this is one, he's not from 2019, he's just from last season. He had incredibly beautiful orange eyes. And he's he's hanging in there. Um, uh, so anyway, I, I have them around to draw for reference. So one of the things I did, and this is just me personally, doesn't mean anybody else has to do it, I made these little stamps using the Easy Cut so that I could have, I wanted to be able to repeat this image. So I have different sizes. Okay, so my journey, all of my studies of the uh, cicada. And I don't know what the order is, honestly. So I'm just gonna show you some. These were done in small sketchbooks, uh, mostly moleskin or uh, pentallic. So here is one from, August 2019, hot cicada study. I used watercolor and I have a little bit back here that shows a, a willow tree. My neighbor across the street has a willow tree that I went over and took photos of so I could use those leaves for reference. And I wanted to use hot colors. And then I have, okay, so that's watercolor, acrylic paint that I stamped on and um, uniball pen and some white gel pen signo or something like that and i wanted to get that idea of how they were communicating to each other so the sound waves go right over them let's see if there's any notes on this one september 4th 2019 i did um a little bit of wet on wet as you can see because i wanted to the the z -z 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 sound to start to I wanted to show the, z z z the sound of the cicadas. And I have him right in the middle because he's sending out all of these sounds. So I was playing a little bit. I'm not going to be able to go back and find it. Um, it was a different mark making to show the sounds of the cicadas. And then the saga continues. Here's another sketchbook. And I was playing with different color schemes where the cicadas are green and i still have the little indication of the willow tree probably went this way i think that's it in that sketchbook and then i really went to town um i think this one is a it's a mole skin okay so we have uh cicada at night watercolor uh this is all watercolor there's no stamping on this one where i drew and painted the cicada in watercolor and then did the background in the white gel pen on top trying to represent the sounds that they made and then i really don't know how cicadas make their sounds and i did watch a couple of videos about it but i still don't know how they do it so i'm trying to show him like shaking yeah because you know they're really really loud and then this is another one with that, I don't know, dark night kind of concept in the, in the color scheme. And I was stamping and using the white gel pen across. Um, similar color scheme. But now he's you know, jig-jagging through. Same color scheme, but now I have one black one, and the green one is a little bit harder to see. There's a little bit of outlining, and again, the, the pen work. Uh, oh, okay, and 
and that's just a page of the the willow tree leaves in watercolor so those are my uh, studies that I had done based on the cicada trying to represent the sounds of the cicada thank you for watching